The royal family is known to break headlines constantly, maybe for conducting the wedding of the year or the funeral of the year. The family with one of the most majestic legacies of all time has recently been going through some tough times due to the loss of one of their longest existing royal members, which not only disheartened them, but the entire world as well. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Trend Craze. Prince Philip was honestly a very lucky man to have embraced his beautiful life for almost a century. In fact, he was just two months short of living a century before the world was shaken with the sad news of his departure from this world. The members of Buckingham Palace, as well as the Queen, have spoken about their major loss of the passing away of Prince Philip on the 9th of April 2021. Due to Prince Philip having passed away at Windsor Castle, many members of the royal family have come together during these stressful times. Does this raise a big question on everyone's mind on what happens when a member of the royal family passes away? The years of service that the royal member offers to the country are remembered and celebrated by the country as well as those near and dear to the deceased royal member. Prince Philip is a name we have been hearing on the media through various events for 10 decades now. He was the longest serving member of the royal British family and has been offering his services beside his queen, Queen Elizabeth II, for 73 years now, with her coronation taking place in the year 1952. As soon as the demise of a member has been declared, Buckingham Palace has to get in touch with the Prime Minister as well as the Lord Chamberlain and share this news with them. These two individuals, along with the government, decide on what is to be announced about the death, including when. For those of you who aren't aware of what the Lord Chamberlain does, one of his most esteemed tasks involve him being the Queen's most senior advisor. Also, the immediate work of the royal family undergoes certain changes changes. Additionally, no new laws are passed while the Queen is going through her mourning period. Various other details are to be observed during this time. One instance of what is observed is the usage of mourning stationery. The mourning stationery is black-edged and is used for all the important announcements as well as updates that are being made concerning the demise of the royal member. Due to this loss, a countless number of questions have been ticking on everyone's mind, with one major one being, what would happen to the disciplined scheduled lives of the royals? The first obvious step that would be taken is include sending all the members of the royal family into mourning for a span of eight days. The staff who works at the Buckingham Palace too will observe Prince Philip's death. Queen Elizabeth II will endure a slightly different mourning period in which she would take a step back from her regular duties as well as her work. Simultaneously, the state affairs would be stopped too so as to showcase their respect to the family for their loss. The military too would display their condolences in a formal way. On the day of the funeral, the members of the military as well as various prominent locations would fly the official flag. One of the prominent locations that would be observed is Downing Street in the city of Westminster. The funeral is expected to take place on the 17th of April 2021. 30 days after the death of the prince, Queen Elizabeth II will be done with her mourning period and will resume her royal duties. Whether she will resume all her duties that she used to undertake before the demise of her husband is still left unknown to the public. The location of her residence after the mourning period is also left unknown, with speculation of it being either limited to Windsor Castle or Balmoral Castle in Scotland. On the other hand, Buckingham Palace's royal standard flag will remain hoisted to symbolize the continued progression of the monarchy. The flag will fly at half-mast all across the country, as well as in countries across the world, till the funeral of Prince Philip's. For those of you who are not aware of what hoisting the flag at half-mast means, it is when the flag is made to fly at a position between two-thirds up the flagpole and is a symbol of both respect as well as mourning all across the world. For the demise of Prince Philip, permission for gun salutes all across the country is expected to be observed as well. What kind of funerals do the royal family members usually have. The funerals that are held by the royals in case one of their members pass away are of two types, one being a ceremonial and the other being a state funeral. While state funerals are usually restricted to sovereigns, the queen, as well as the parliament, could get involved and loosen the restriction for those who she may feel is worth their presence at the funeral. A ceremonial funeral, on the other hand, is the funeral that is conducted for those royal family members that hold a high military rank who are associates of the sovereign and also the heir to the throne. A ceremonial funeral was witnessed last with the passing away of Princess Diana in 1997. So, which of the two kinds of funeral will Prince Philip be having? According to sources, the funeral to Prince Philip will not be a state funeral. The funeral is not expecting the body of the prince to face a lying in state before the funeral. The body of the Duke of Edinburgh will be made to rest at Windsor Castle prior to the funeral at St. George's Chapel. These are the regular customs that are followed at the funeral of royal members. It has also been stated that this was Prince Philip's wish as well. In fact, in 2013, the Sunday Times had stated that Prince Philip did not want his funeral to be a mass of one and did not want anyone to fuss over his demise. Due to the pandemic, his wishes may actually come true. 
true. Will the funeral take place the same way it has been undertaken for the deaths of the previous royals? Due to the COVID restrictions, the normally big funerals would not be taking place. The prince himself has also said that he wishes to have a small funeral on his passing away. The funeral will adhere to the COVID-19 regulations. One of the COVID-19 regulations that have already been applied is the grandson of the prince being placed in quarantine on his arrival. Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, has arrived in the UK from the United States to bid his grandfather a final goodbye. In addition to all of this, regular funeral procedures would not be undertaken. The members of the public have been asked to respect the royal family during this extremely difficult time and refrain from attending the funeral or attempting to show their loyalty to the family in a way that would cause unwanted situations with regard to the COVID outbreak. The family has been sympathetic enough to create an online book of condolence where people can pay their respects. The online book is available on the royal website. We are all quite aware that Prince Philip had a lot of titles. Who would his roles pass on to now? Prince Philip was not just the husband of the Queen, but had many titles to his name. Some other titles that he had to his name include the Duke of Edinburgh, the Baron of Greenwich, as well as the Earl of Marin. Prince Philip had recently retired from his royal engagements in the year 2017, but has been making public appearances even though he stopped working for the royalties. It was in 2019 where his health concerns surfaced and were hospitalized too. The reason for his 2019 hospitalization was due to a pre-existing condition that he suffered from. His deteriorating condition resurfaced once again in the month of February 2021. He spent almost a month in the hospital to keep his vitals under check as well as to treat his condition. A month later, he was discharged from the hospital and sent back to his residence at Windsor Castle on the 16th of March 2021. According to the peerages of the United Kingdom, the titles are hereditary and will pass on to the eldest son of Prince Philip. His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, will be gaining all these titles. Therefore, once the mourning commences, the crown will be taken by Prince Charles and the duties to be performed by these titles shall commence. Nearly a month after returning to his residence, he passed away. Prince Philip is expected to be laid at rest at the Frogmore Gardens at Windsor Castle. Various friends, family, and other members who are well known by him will assemble at St. George's Chapel where the funeral services will take place. The Buckingham Palace is very quiet with regard to the various tasks and operations that it conducts within its institution, but the death of Prince Philip has yet again ignited the great amount of tradition and culture that they continue to perform to date to keep their legacy alive. That is all for today, guys, and we hope we were able to intrigue you with a few facts on what happens after a member of the royal British family passes away. Before you take leave, do drop a like on our video, as well as subscribe to our channel to be able to view both old and new content. While you are at it, do tap the bell icon to be alerted of all our new videos and content every time we upload it.